Hello Capricorn, this is your mid-July 2018 reading. I wanted to get this out before it got too late in the month, but Capricorn, mid-July 2018. Five card spread. Hmm. Capricorn, mid-July 2018. Capricorn. As you know, I'm doing these a little bit different order. I'm going on basic order, going from the birth month on, on through the zodiac. So I wanted to get you straight out. You got Pluto and Sagittarius in your sign. Capricorns are pretty tough. Like I said, it's a five card spread. Find out what the beginning energy is. The sun card. Someone's wanting to be happy, thinking about happiness. Maybe you actually are having happiness. It basically, as the beginning energy. In the past, you have the princess of swords in reverse. This could be an air energy. It could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Not in that order. They're in reverse. So no happiness there with that Princess of Swords in the past. Could be also someone taking on that energy of the Princess of Swords. Let's find out more before I even say anything. Princess of Swords, why are you in the past for, for Capricorn? Words were said. Someone got a little touchy. Could be this Princess of Swords, or maybe you got touchy with the Princess of Swords and they got them all turned around. It's someone who takes an offense to something, causing strife. It's the Five of Wands. It's in the upright and it's clarifying the Princess of Swords. Let's get another card for that. Why is the Princess of Swords in reverse with the Five of Wands clarifying in the upright? Why? Could have to do with lust. That's basically one of the meanings that I know of. People would disagree, but lust is lust. It could be also a desire for something. Someone desired one thing and the other person did not. Or maybe someone was even a little jealous, possibly. Someone got defensive over something. Obstacle. Let's find out what your obstacle is, Capricorn. Mid-July, Capricorn. Obstacle. What is the obstacle for Capricorn? wanting to try to come out but Prince of Cups this could be a water energy or someone taking on that energy as you know water energy could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio not in that order but they're your obstacle they're in reverse you could be your energy you could be taking on that water energy but I don't think so but if they are an obstacle let's find out why Prince of Cups why are you an obstacle for Sagittarius um, not Sagittarius Capricorn Sagittarius in my brain. I think I did them last. That's why. Prince of Cups. Why are you there? Oops. In the past for Capricorn. I'm going to put that out there anyway. Since it popped out the way it did. That's uh, someone's not taking control of the situation. Not making the, the right choices. That's a two of wands. It's in reverse. About domination and taking control of the situation in your life. And maybe this Prince of Cups is not taking control of a situation that you know this person or you are having trouble taking control with them like i said they could be having control issues also and not be able to make a choice let me have another card for the prince of cups and the domination two of wands in reverse for capricorn could have something to do with money maybe someone didn't make a good choice with money that's a ten of coin in reverse. Got all reversals here. So someone's not making good choices. The obstacle. Whether it be you or the other person. Okay. Current environment. Mid-July 2018. Capricorn. Mid-July 2018. Oops. Three of cups. Could be some celebration going on. I'm getting this a lot for a lot of the signs. So apparently you have people in your life. They have people in your life. And it could involve you. Oops. The 
Yeah, it could involve the Queen of Wands and the Prince of Cups, Princess of Cups. So you may be celebrating with a fire energy, with the water energy, not necessarily a fire water energy. They could be just taking on that energy. People do all the time, especially in these mass readings. But you could be going out, hanging out with a princess or a queen of wands or the princess of cups. And, you know, and like some of you may need to know this, but, you know, if you don't know your, your zodiac signs, queen of cups is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And as I said before, the water energy is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So I'm seeing celebrations there during mid-July, going out, hanging out, having fun, drinks, dinner, coffee, whatever. Uh, out, uh, what is coming towards you? Capricorn, what is coming towards you? Mid-July 2018. Something's coming in that you like. That's the Three of Wands. It's usually, it's coming towards you. It's an outside environment. It could be also something going in your outside environment that you'd like to see go. But oftentimes it's like you heard, you heard the saying, ships come in, your fortunes come in. Um, something positive. I like the Three of Wands. always have, especially in the upright. The Three of Wands, why are you coming towards Capricorn? Could be what other people are thinking of you too, because that's always a mindset of what other people think of you, and they may think that your ships are coming in. Could be this, you know, Queen Queen of Wands and Princess of Cups. Maybe they think good things are coming to you. But Three of Wands, why are you there? Why are you coming towards Capricorn? Yep, you're gonna someone's gonna Bring you some news, possibly. Ace of Swords. It's going to come pretty abruptly. Could be something you want to hear. Good news. Good tidings. I think someone's going to tell you something. Give me another card for the Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords for Capricorn. Mid-July 2018. Yeah, you got, someone's going to bring you some happiness. Someone's going to bring you good news. It's got the Ten of Cups attached to it. I like these cards. I, I mean, hopefully the outcome is good, but what's coming towards you is really good if you recognize it. Hopefully you don't let it pass you by. Ten of Cups, is, they call it the Happily Ever After card. Of course, there's no, I don't believe there's such thing as Happily Ever After. I like to, but it's something that is pretty cool. It's pretty good. It's really awesome. Now, the outcome, the outcome for Capricorn, I'm glad someone got some good news in this zodiacs. The outcome, Capricorn, mid-July 2018, please give us something good. Star card in reverse. Maybe something that you didn't wish for. Something you didn't wish for, something you thought was hopeless. You're thinking something's hopeless. Maybe you think it's over your head, whatever's coming in. i got to find out for sure. I can't say anything. This, the star card in reverse. Why are you there for Capricorn? Oops. Could be over three of swords. Some good's coming in, but at the same time, someone's heart's going to be broke. I don't know if that's your heart. I think someone was hoping for something and, and they didn't get it. The Three of Swords. Could be that you're, you are like, I hate to say it, Capricorn. That maybe you are involved with two different people. Some of you, not all of you. But some of you may be involved with two, you know, two people. Could be more. And someone's heart's going to be broke. One is going to want something. And I'm not going to get it. I don't know who it's going to be, though. The star card with the three of swords. Why are you there? Capricorn, why are you there? Yeah, something is definitely ending with somebody. you, you got something else coming in. You, I think you're going to end something. And someone was really hopeful. I don't know who it is just yet. You got the devil in reverse becoming unchained from a certain situation. 
This is the overall ending energy. Something else is co coming in that you like. Something is coming in that you like. Happily ever after situation. Could be that you have a choice between more than two people or two situations. This could be job related too. And you may actually, some of you may actually quit a job and take on another. Or if you were in a third party, you may end one and stay with the other. It's not really tell me what to do because at the current environment, you have two different people there. They're both in the upright, but both good people. But remember, you have this obstacle over here for some of you. Your obstacle could be finances. And maybe that's why you're liking this thing that's coming in. It's more positive because you are becoming unchained. You're no longer stuck because something's going to end. You're going to cut something off. I see that for Capricorn. Or maybe someone's cutting this off with you. And you're trying real hard. Or maybe they'll even choose you. But you're going to become an unchained. You yourself are not going to be stuck. You're not going to be bound to some certain situation. You're not going to be obsessive. You're not going to be dwelling over it. Capricorn, I know this for a fact. You are not going to be dwelling over it. Look, your card, devil, in reverse. No longer unchained. See you next month. Talk to you later. Bye.